the North World Trade Center Tower. He was on that plane. So was a recent Miami University grad, Kelly Booms. Kelly grew up in Blue Ash. The 24-year-old was an accountant for Price Waterhouse Coopers. In the towers were five people from our area. Wendy Faulkner was in a meeting for AON Insurance Group in the South Tower. She was on a one-day business trip from Mason. Her two daughters are carrying on her legacy through a memorial charity in her honor. Covington Catholic graduate Brian Williams was 29 when he died in the tower. He was working as a broker for Cantor Fitzgerald. His parents still live in Edgewood. Brian's co-worker at Cantor Fitzgerald, Rob Peraza, also lost his life. The 30-year-old bond trader's memory lives on through a scholarship his parents have created. The phone rings in Terrace Park, and it's Doug Cherry on the phone calling his family. He was living in New Jersey and was at a meeting in the tower for his insurance group when the plane flew in. Doug's phone call to his family was his last. He was 38. Kathy Salter worked at AON Insurance here before transferring to the New York office. The 37-year-old UC graduate was last seen in the South Tower. Our community lost two people when a plane crashed into the Pentagon that fateful morning at 9.37. Martha Resky and Lieutenant Colonel Canfield D. Boone. Martha Resky was a 56-year-old mother of two. She was a civilian employee of the Army's budget office in the Pentagon. John Resky of Liberty Township is her brother-in-law. Lieutenant Colonel Canfield Boone grew up in Milan, Indiana. He was 53 and recently promoted to full colonel and was working at the Pentagon. Boone was a father of three.